Ugh. Thank God. I figured if I talked myself hoarse on the comms, the cavalry would come. I was expecting some free star militia, but any port in a storm, I guess. You and me both. Before spacers broke into the outpost, I was relaying orders for Lieutenant Torres. Torres ain't bad as far as COs go, but we'd have been flat out murdered if it weren't for the, and I can't believe I'm saying this, the UC Marines. So, and this is important. You see a Marine, don't shoot. They're friendlies. Roger. So first things first, the makeshift infirmary isn't gonna hold. They set up on the ground floor in the security section. The whole place is on lockdown, so you'll have to find a way there. Talk to, um, uh, Lazama. He's the only thing between them and, well, you get the picture. You are something else. Be safe, be bold. A dead soldier ain't no help to no one. If the speed Spacers breached the infirmary.
This is it. What? You think he's a spacer? He's the one that cleared him out. Corporal Izama. UC Marines. Medic. We thought we were done for. I'm... I'm... Oh. And meet the esteemed doctor. Musa, right? It's his party we're crashing. Mahoney's a machine. She's wasted on this rock. And this... Uh, what the heck are you guys doing here, anyway? Doctor. Doctor! Yes. I mean, yes. Astrobiology. We study non-Terran life forms in the settled systems. We, uh, seek to understand the various flora and fauna and search for practical uses. N no. They've... They've been trying to take over the whole system. For months. Listen, we can't waste time. The Freestar CO, Lieutenant Torres, he locked down the complex. I'm not sure how long he can keep his troops safe. Last I saw Torres was on the third floor, near my office. Take this key and get to Torres. It should open everything except the security doors. Get to Torres before his men are wiped out. Good luck. So many doctors here. Blood knows no flags. And swears on allegiance. I just Every keep time asking spins, myself it's a tragedy. Why?
Like I said, someone's been taken. Are they the all spaces. gone? Thanks to the stranger, every last one of them is down. Some fancy work there. How many more are there with your unit? You got sniper support or something? Oh, uh, holy shit. I... <laughs> wow. We have to help Captain Myung. She's behind the barrier door. But she's not Freestar, Lieutenant. Our first priority is our men and our scientists. She came in to save us, Sergeant, when no one else would. I will not leave her out to dry. I... I don't care. Her men have risked their lives, died for us. But, Lieutenant, they're the UC. We can't... Sergeant, I am ordering you to help us save those Marines. How? We got a security override key. If the Marines are still alive, they'll be by the other entrance. We all work together. We should be able to save them. Or die trying. They are soldiers that need us. Are you... up for it? We could really use your help. <sighs> and let's do this. Here's the security key. You take point. The captain's down one floor. I... I don't believe it.
So glad you militia rats finally showed up. Could have used you before Dalton bought it. Stand down, Private. What matters is they're here now. And who the hell do we have here? Another scientist? No. Truthfully, they would still be pinned down if it weren't for them. Well, I'll be. You don't got the look of a Marine. Certainly not the militia. Who are you? What, the explorers? I didn't know you guys packed such a punch. Captain Myung, UC Marines. Veteran of the Colony Wars, the shield of Paduk Pass. Best damn Marine in the service. <laughs> and that loudmouth is Private Sai. If she wasn't such a hell of a soldier, she'd be polishing latrines for the next decade. You've saved lives here, and that is something I won't forget. The captain and all her marines. Oh, we'd all be dead if it weren't for them. You lot may be free star, but your ground pounders first. I wasn't about to let you all die ignobly to those rabid spacer bastards. You've got spirit. That's what we need right now. We've bought ourselves an old-fashioned stay of execution here. But it won't last long. The bastards are disorganized, undisciplined rabble. But they got spaceships and we don't. That means they can keep dropping reinforcements until they greatly outnumber us. Then the cowards will hit us. Hard. Which means they won't drop the reinforcements right on top of us anymore. But there's too many of them, and only one of you. No, we need a plan. I have a more immediate problem, Captain. I have troops and civilians in the field. If we don't act, the spacers could take them out. I can't abandon them. Damn it. What sort of leader would you be if you did? But we need every trained soldier to fortify and get the defenses back online. Mahoney said their last transmission indicated they were in trouble. If you could perhaps take your ship to the research camp and clear out any spacers. They went dark not too long ago, so hopefully they are still survivors. Just go quickly and safely. These militia rats.
spacers are terrible. Terrible. Corporal Mahoney radioed you coming, but I didn't know if we could hold out. Not all of us made it. But you're a regular hero. Torres did that. He's so damn green. But all right. Mahoney said for us to go to ground. There's a cave nearby we're going to hole up in until this is all over. Don't worry, I'll keep the civvy safe from here. How have you been? Mahoney said the research camp is all clear. I... I don't know where we'd be without you. Most likely decomposing in some unmarked grave. Good on you both for making that mission of mercy a priority. Our job is to protect the civvies and never leave a soldier behind. There ain't much room for honor in this damn business, so we have to hold on to what we can. Captain, you should bring up your plan. I... I believe it's a good one. The Spacers haven't attacked yet, but they've been shuttling men down beyond the ridge. We cannot let them keep reinforcing, otherwise they'll overwhelm us. So we need to take out their ships. Ain't that the truth? But I'll take any one of the heroes here over a dozen of them. I concur with the Captain. We can't hold out if we don't cut off their manpower. The Spacers have two fighter groups. If you take those out, the enemies will be stranded. So, launch that fancy ship of yours and get to work. These damn spaces... Welcome back.
Get out. You're going down.
The scientists here are good people. Every one of them that died is a loss for all of us. So many people. That's the price of command, Torres. Every decision leads to blood. You can drive yourself crazy with counterfactuals. Focus on the good you did. We did, here. Huh. Well, just don't go saying that too loudly. Altair's safe because of you. Both of you. I almost want to write back to the Freestar and ask them to give you a medal. Now wouldn't that be the damnedest thing? I could put it on right next to my meritorious star. You'd save me a court-martial if you just give me your thanks. Might be you want your medal, though. Looks like we have ourselves an old-fashioned mercenary. I'm... I'm not sure if I would have done all this if the roles were reversed, Myung. But I will never forget you. You're young, and you've got a future ahead of you. A bit of advice. I've been passed up for promotion more times than I can count because I've always stuck by my principles. There's a million ways the bastards in command will ask you to compromise. Little ways, big ways. Don't. It may hurt your career, but I look back with pride at my service. Especially today. You see? I sincerely hope I never see you across the lines on the battlefield, Captain. If you do, Lieutenant, I will do my duty. Not if I do my duty first. <laughs> Soldiers, it's time to get out of the Free Star's hair.